This is a quick video to let people know who are interested in 3D printing that this style of radio is now available on a 3D printed base. If you're not into 3D printing and you're more of a wood person, you can skip this video without any loss of continuity. So let's go through a few of the differences. Basically, it's the same radio. The components are the same. There's a cat whisker that goes here. There's a capacitor here like this one. A uh, coil will sit back here in this cradle and the connection points are exactly the same. There's a few different things like this jumper right here and this jumper right here that are different. Otherwise, yeah, uh, it's the same circuit diagram. So let's go over those differences. So we'll start here on this end of the coil and this wire normally goes over here to this point. And what I've done is instead of trying to run that all the way over here like that, I have just made it so you can connect here. And then we add a jumper that goes over here to the capacitor and connects here. Uh, it's the same exact connection point on the capacitor. Again, it's just where the coil connects, which is here instead of over here somewhere. Okay, that said, uh, the next point would be here, and that is this tap on the coil, and it connects to one end of the diode if you're going to use a diode. Otherwise, it will connect to one end of the uh, cat whisker detector. And this wire, this point rather, will connect to this side of the cat whisker. A jumper, which is not here, there's no jumper here on this one. And then on this side, there is the earphone and the, and the resistor. This point will go to ground over here. And we talked about this. This will come over here, connect to this side of the capacitor. And that is exactly the same as with this one. It just connects right there. Um, now, let's see, we covered that point. This point, which would be right about here, just goes directly to ground. And the far side of the coil, which is over here, is the antenna. So those are the differences. Again, I will put the links to how to build this one, which will overlap 99% with this one. And also links on how to finish the construction of the cat whisker detector. Okay, so that's it for this 3D version of this one capacitor tuned crystal radio. And hope you found that useful and interesting in your DIY crystal radio experimentation.